Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop, and today I'm going to make a bunch of beer flights. If you've ever been to a craft brew pub, you've probably seen the wooden beer flights they use to bring glasses out to your table so that you can taste the different kinds of beers they have. I've designed four different styles of beer flights to show you, and these would make great gifts. They probably do well at craft fairs, and you might even be able to find a craft brewery that wants to order a whole bunch of them. Before I get started, I'd like to thank Inventables for sponsoring this project. Making beer flights is a perfect example of how you could use the X-Carve CNC machine to mass produce a bunch of projects in case you get a large order from a craft brewery. If you're interested in shopping for an X-Carve, click the referral link in the video description below. Let's get started. If you're going to make a beer flight, I recommend that you get the glasses that you're going to use first so that you can make some measurements for your design. I'm going to make a few beer flights for these 5 ounce tasting glasses and if you'd like to get the same glasses I have, I'll put a link in the video description below. And I'm also going to scale up one of my beer flights so it'll hold these regular sized pint glasses that I already have on hand. Uh, let's get started with the first beer flight. I use the Inventables Easel Pro software to design these and this one is cut from a single cherry board and it has four pockets for tasting glasses. It also has four smaller pockets to hold bottle tops to identify the beers. It has handle cutouts to make it easy to carry and I use an Easel Pro font to v-carve some text. I'll make one pass to carve the text with a 90 degree v-bit and then a second pass to cut the rest with an eighth inch straight bit. Let's make it. This second one is paddle shaped with a handle on one end and the pockets for the tasting glasses are on a diagonal line. Once again, I'm using the Easel Pro V-Car feature to add some text to it. And I didn't have a board wide enough for this one, so I glued up a maple blank with a cherry stripe down the center. The third one is made from a single walnut board and the pockets for the glasses and bottle caps are arranged in a square pattern. I added some decorative graphics from the Easel Pro Design Library and I also added some through holes spaced three inches apart uh, for carry handles on each side. I'll add some foot pads to this one to raise it off the table as well.
For the last beer flight, I designed two versions, one for small tasting glasses and one for the full-size pint glasses. I'm going to make the pint glass version just as an example. This design includes three parts that are cut out with the X-Carve. There are two side pieces with cutouts for handles and mortises for attaching the main board. Instead of using pockets, the glasses will sit securely inside holes that are cut all the way through the board. I'm going to v-carve some text on this one as well. I hope these projects gave you some good ideas for making your own beer flights. I enjoyed incorporating different elements into each one and experimenting a little. Thanks again to Inventables for sponsoring this project and I'll put referral links to my easel designs and the X-Carve below. If you don't have a CNC machine, you can still download the designs and use them to make these with regular tools. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.